Well, we wanted to ensure that this treatment, because it is so new and so novel, was researched better than any other treatment, and we think that we've done that. We looked at kids who got the treatment by comparison with the kids who didn't. We looked at the kids over time. We looked at children of different age. We did everything we could to try and ensure it was good science. The program deals with the complex underlying factors to do with low levels of attention, uh, inability to concentrate, um, the, the words, as it were, bouncing round a page. It deals with the underlying things because it treats the cerebellum. Most treatments involve treating the surface symptoms without doing anything about what underlies them. So if you treat the underlying cerebellar-based symptoms, you get long-term effects. In absolute honesty, the world has not seen children who are treated make more progress than children who never had a problem to start with. I mean, there have been studies that show the children doing better than they used to do, those children. But there's never been a study that shows children with learning problems doing better than children without. And with the door treatment, that's exactly what you get. The kids do better than their non-learning impaired friends. Very often with other programs, the benefits wash out. They disappear a very short time after treatment because they're kind of flimflam. Um, the, because everyone's expecting the kids to do better, they do better. But when you take the expectancy away, the expectations away, the kids just return to where they were. The great thing about this treatment is you could honestly say it's improving the scaffolding of children's minds because it's dealing with deep-seated, deep-lying things to do with the human or child physiology, which is their, make, their cerebellum makeup. And if you do something to the foundations of a child, those foundations stay changed for years and years and years. A lot of the trouble that teachers face in classrooms is, is kind of low level, kind of guerrilla warfare from children who are bored or with limited attention span or who find it hard to follow books. Um, the likelihood is that if this treatment went everywhere as it should, then you'll get children who are really less trouble for teachers and also children will be happier because their basic skills will improve, they'll think more of themselves, they'll know that their basic functioning as a child, as a human being will be better. So teachers will be happy because the kids are happier and better behaved during the day and the parents will be a whole lot happier in the evening because the kids come home happier. Historically, special education needs have just been a black hole into which vast quantities of resources are poured with little effect. But with this treatment, if it really is as effective as our results suggest, and the results are really good science, I think governments should start offering the treatments and pay for the treatments and get the cure, because why carry on pouring money in with useless treatments when you could actually use treatments that cure?